because food habits condition our well-being, eating wise is a big step towards peace and harmony. Total health brings us closer to living in harmony. Harmony leads to peace. Hi guys, Namaste. Thank you very much for dropping by this channel. Last week we had a pretty good puso ng saging or banana blossom episode. And because banana blossom or puso ng saging is a very, very powerful superfood, I thought we'd do another episode this time with more information and a little more fun. Here goes! You know, many people have told me over and over again that they want to try the plant-based diet, but they're kind of afraid that they're gonna miss out, you know, miss out on the flavors, miss out on the nutrition. Well, through this episode and many episodes that are gonna follow, I can guide you through on how to have nutritious, plant-based meals that won't make you feel like you're missing out at all. We have something for you. It's called sardines with a heart or sardinas na may puso. Okay. So, the hunt begins. It's a pretty wet day to go puso hunting, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Did you know that banana blossom helps in the treatment of anemia by raising hemoglobin, which helps in red blood cell production? Aha! We have spotted the puso. Notice how it's also shaped like a breast? Attention all nursing mothers. Here's your breast milk booster. Okay, for those of you who don't know the story of the puso, the Mr. Midel here, oh, it's smile a Midel, <laughs> is gonna tell us the story mm. of the puso. Ngayon, dito po sumisibol yung mga kawan sa dito yung laman niya, yung saging imbutil dito sa ilalim yeah. okay. ngayon kung ganitong maliliit na yung lumalabas pwede ng airbase ah okay kasi eh, kung kunyari harvestin yan ng mas maaga anong mangyari ah, kunti lang yung may iwan
banana heart. It's so particularly good. It's got a lot of iron, so it helps uh, relieve anemia. It lowers your blood sugar, so it's good for the diabetics. Peel the outer tough covering of the pusa and the little bananas until you get to the lighter covering and the skin feels soft to the touch. Sprinkle some salt and a little bit of water and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. After that, you rinse this all out and set it to boil. And then we have onions, garlic. I always like to roast them in an open flame and then peel them without washing the little burnt parts. Alternatively, you can also use tomato paste and water it down with broth. Nutritional yeast and a mix of liquid aminos, soy sauce, sesame oil. Of course, very special is seaweed. Roast the nori sheets over the flame till you get a nice crunch so you can crush them with your hands. You can also put them in a coffee grinder and grind to a fine powder. Aside from adding iodine and B12 and iron, seaweeds serve as a yummy binder. Put this. In this particular dish, I like to use sesame oil. A word about sesame oil. Uh, choose the one that's pure sesame oil, not the one that's blend, because I don't uh, advise using soya oil for cooking. Of course, as usual, we put in our garlic and our onion. So now you have your base, the base of your sauce. You mix it well. And I use a lot of fresh tomatoes because we have lots of fresh tomatoes in the farm. Harvest. Fresh harvested. We gotta help this uh, tomatoes a little bit. So we're gonna... To get a smoother sauce, you blend it a little bit so it becomes homogenous. The sauce is looking good. Now, if, if it gets too watery because, you know, different tomatoes have different qualities and some tomatoes are too watery, and if they become too watery, that's when you put your uh, tomato paste just to sort of bind them together. But in this case, I don't think I would need because it looks pretty good already. So now we put in all our spices. We put our salt in. I'll put a little bit of sugar now. Coconut sugar. And then black pepper, freshly ground. And of course, we have our nutritional yeast. And liquid aminos, again. You can use coconut liquid aminos here. So it's all like nice and local. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit watery now. So maybe that's the time you bring your little bit of tomato paste. See? See how it starts to bind together. This is a great binder. Seaweeds. While the sauce is simmering, you would like to put your puso in there. Remember, the puso is already pre-cooked. Cooking is an art, so you create a palette, so you have your colors and you mix them all in. And a very important part of cooking also is smelling. See, you gotta smell because the nose knows what's needed. So there it is, a wonderfully nutritious and easy to make dish that will answer your cravings for sardines. Whether you're vegetarian or not vegetarian, it doesn't matter. You can enjoy it either way. And then you also have a lot of antioxidants to fight your free radicals. And then it's combined with the seaweeds, which is rich in omega-3s. You know, we're always looking for omega-3s because we're so loaded with omega-6s in our diet already. And omega-3s, as you know, are good for your brain health and your heart health. And what's more, it's also rich in iron. So that, the iron in that and the iron in the puso, and you have power-packed iron lunch. 
and also it is also rich in B12. You see, vegetarians are always being asked, oh, where do you get your B12? Well, here it is in the seaweeds. Once again, it's a good tenet to live by, to remind ourselves every day, not to live to eat, but rather to eat to live and be healthy so that we may be able to use this body for a higher purpose. Thank you very much. Namaste.